Hello. We are going to use this awesome feature today, which we've barely used. Start a worldwide VS race via Fun Room. So awesome. It's, uh, I think it was added last year to CTGP. And you can also do CT Worldwide, you can do Countdown. It's on page two. So we have the Bodacia Nation, 11 players, all ready for some sneakster action. I'm curious to see what vehicles everyone else is gonna use. And I'm hoping I could farm VR off all you guys. And uh, it's gonna be a fun time. We have 5,000 VR. I'm a 5,000 VR player, guys. Brand new to the game. My first day playing Mario Kart Wii Online. I'm kind of nervous. But yeah, no, this is gonna be a fun time. This is a rough race. Okay, we got six. I think we're gonna gain probably like 100 points for this. I'm not even kidding. This is the beauty about starting these new licenses 173 points for sixth oh man i love this game beautiful and look at this devil loses 140 for eighth back in the 8000 territory i am so sorry devil but you knew what you were signing up for when you joined this room okay we're just gonna be farming vr today 173 for sixth oh tony and i are teaming for this race he doesn't know it yet but I want a top two with the Sneakster in a Worldwide on BC64. How often does that happen? What? Dude, I can't dodge a pow today. This is not good. Tony, you could take first. Okay, I think if I would have got first, Tony would have lost points. <laughs> I'm gonna make everyone lose points but Tony. Tony deserves it. Bowser Jr. Sneakster, what a legend. Okay, and uh, shouts to Spock for taking a blue shell. And top two Sneakster, 324 points for second place. Oh, Tony's on a brand new license too. Oh, look at that. Oh man, Ebot losing 228. Tristan 120 to Fraz 130. This is brutal, guys. This is brutal. Oh man. Uh oh. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. Yes. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We might only gain 50 points this race. No! Draft, 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 draft! Thank you, Tristan! <laughs> I think I passed Tristan on the line with that draft. Come on, come on, give me seventh. Oh, okay, we gained 66. Look at Tony, 5,700. Nice. All right. It's weird playing mirror mode. I haven't been playing much mirror at all. But yeah, gonna try to start racing better. These the first few races for me, uh, definitely warming up. Nice. Oh, Spock got me, but it was too late. That's a really tough corner with this vehicle. Yeah, see, that, that's a perfect example of the Seekster struggling. This is a tough course for the Seekster. This is brutal. Also, let me know how loud the lawnmower is. There's literally nothing I could do. Like, we already started the stream. I could take a break if it's, like, really distracting. Um, we could just do, like, an intermission. I go get food or something, and we could just wait. But I know it's it's really loud. I apologize. There's nothing I could do about it. I, I waited like two hours to start the stream and the lawn mowing it just never ends. Literally never ends.
This is great because I can use the mushroom here and then cut the corner wide and then come in tight. So mushroom is really good on that last corner for this for this vehicle. Gonna snag that mushroom for sure. Oh, the bumps. I'm hoping we get some vehicle or some, some tracks that are actually good for this vehicle. I can see what everyone's doing. People are purposely picking the bad sneakster tracks. We're playing like some of the worst sneakster tracks in the game to start off this room. In a good spot, but this is going to be a tough ending here. Oh, I took that corner perfectly. I'm going really wide. Nice. Oh, if that blue shell came just a little bit earlier, I was good. I was going to get first. But I'm really happy with second. That's an extremely tough track. It's 150. Uh, mirror mode is 150cc. And, man, so much can go wrong on that one. You saw lap one, I got Mario Karted on lap one, but lap two, I used the mushroom, cut the mud, and then was able to make the corner just fine. And then lap three, I figured it out. I took that corner super tight. I actually did it tighter than the Flame Runner player, and I almost caught him. Okay, 5,800, we're getting close to 6K already. Yes, we got 150cc Grumble Volcano. Time to do the right side rock hop with the Sneakster. <laughs> No, I think we'll stop if we do the rock hop. We'll definitely not go for it, no stop. This thing doesn't drift high enough. So the the, the acceleration is, is better than some of the other vehicles we're used to using. So I'm actually going to... No, I was gonna do the rock hop. Oh, that was so mean, so mean. But anyway, the thing is, is like, there's gonna be times where if a lot of people are around me, I'm not gonna charge a sandstorm nature roll. I'm just gonna try to get out of the way. It seems like a better strategy. Like, I saved myself quite a bit there from getting Mario carded. I'm just gonna use this. You guys like my lines? That was beautiful. Can't see, help. How do I do this corner? All right, that's good enough. Don't bump me off. We could get second this race. Oh. Okay, third will do. Really hard to make the corners, but we're doing what we can. This vehicle is not S tier, and it's not A tier. The bullet bike would have handled that much better. However, it has its pluses. It has a really good speed stat on the more simplistic tracks. If we get like Peach Gardens, it's gonna thrive. Mushroom Gorge will do great. Obviously like the really simple tracks like Peach Beach, Mario Circuit, Luigi Circuit, it's good as well. And it's gonna do well on some custom tracks also, because some of the custom tracks are very spear friendly. Okay. 6,000 points! Let's go! Making quick work of this uh, this punishment, this Flounderfest punishment. We got Cherry Blossom, Delfino Square, and this is actually a track where the Snickster can thrive. Me and Tony are going to top two again. Oh, the lawn mowing is so loud outside. I'm dying. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying.
Nice, you can make that corner. I just had to break a little bit. That's an amazing pull. I'm just going to hold this. Never mind. I'm going to spam it. It's funny because I actually took like a really good sneakster line there, but I was in the flame runner line. So end up being bad. I need to take wide lines more often. I was expecting him to trap the dock. Actually not going to go for the box because it'll be a hard maneuver to make afterwards and the sneakster, you know, it can't really make those type maneuvers all that well. There's Tony. Uh-oh. 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 Get away from me. <laughs> Don't want that. Do not want that. That would be terrible right now. See, that's an example right there in that little maneuver I did for the acceleration coming in clutch. I braked a lot and then I was still able to drift. If I was the flame runner, I would have had to slowly get back up to full speed. Before I'd be able to drift. The screen shell is terrifying me right now. I'm using the star in a second. No! That was the sketchiest double shortcut ever, but I made it work. Tony and I top two with the Sneakster again. I want a Tony Troy top two, TTT. -T -T. I want a counter. Tony Troy top two counter. TTTT. -T -T -T. T, 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 T counter, guys. Give it to me. Look at that. We're almost identical in VR. He has 23 more points than me. We've been in all the same races. And we both started at 5,000. We're both using the Sneakster. That's pretty cool. This is not a good track for the Sneakster. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if Tony and I podium on this one. It is a front running track, though. If I could just stay in first. That was good, that was really good. This thing goes 97 at full speed. 97 point something, it's, it's just a little bit faster than the Flame Runner. That was not supposed to go forward. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect to win Ghost Valley 2 with the Sneakster. However, I did start the race in second place, which gave me a really good chance. We take those! Let's go, let's go. MK Dasher is here, everybody is here today. This is so awesome. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. Fun fact guys, I bet a lot of you don't know this. So MK Dasher, as we all know, from the Mario Kart DS documentary that just came out, especially if you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. Made by Abel, MK DS Abel. Go check it out, amazing documentary. Like, Enmead says it's the best Mario Kart video ever made, and honestly, it, it might be. It's, it's an 82-minute video, it's incredible, and it highlights MK Dasher's accomplishments in Mario Kart DS and just the Mario Kart DS time trial scene in general. But I bet a lot of you do not know this, MK Dasher actually had the Ghost Valley 2 world record in Mario Kart Wii in 2011, which is so awesome. At least I didn't pull a Thundercloud. I could be happy about that. I just need to salvage, like, 5th or 6th. It was a rough race. Nothing went my way. At least I did this last cor last corner correctly. I was so nervous from the green shells. I was like, please don't get hit by the green. Please don't get hit by the green. The entire brigade was behind me. I think I got fifth. I will take fifth. 
Horrible luck that race. Red shell, blooper, terrible items. And fourth, yes. Oh, poor devil loses seven points for fifth place with 8,400. That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh man. Okay. This is a fun one. This is actually not a great track for the Sneakster though. I'm gonna have to, yes, perfect pull. I was like, I'm gonna have to rely on mushrooms to avoid this corner right here. Cause this, this is much easier to do than having to go around the corner. Oh, that was perfect. That was like tool assist levels. World record levels. I was in first for a second there. There's Tony. I gotta check what, I gotta check what Tony's VR is after this race. I'm kind of curious like how close we are. Okay. That's a trap mushroom. Had to slow down there. This vehicle cannot make the tight corners. So happy to pull that Mega. This sucks. And I'm getting comboed. My race is pretty much done. This is the first bad race today. And that's a terrible pull. I really didn't need that. It's okay though, I'll get the chain though. I'll get to do the shortcut and I'll get the chain. Hopefully. I'm gonna have to hit this wall. Yeah, I can't make that corner. There was literally nothing I could do. I need a bullet bill, but I can't get one in ninth, can I? I Maybe there's like a small chance, but it's very unlikely. Yo, Devil's on the Sinkster too, let's go. Tony's getting wrecked. Are you serious? The Goomba's just right there? That was the worst race ever. What sucks about the Thundercloud is like, you don't even see the people near you, and then all of a sudden you get Thunderclouded. <laughs> I gained 10 points. <laughs> 6669, what a legendary VR. I gained 10 points for 8th. I love this. This is so funny. Nobody except for Spock has 9,000, and Spock has 9,020 points. Sp Spock has lost like 1,000 VR just because he's having to deal with me and Tony running 5,000 VR accounts. <laughs> Poor Spock. I feel bad for Spock. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so this is mirror mode. Got the box. Not pretty, but we'll take it. I'm gonna have to go really wide here to make this corner work. That's the key with this vehicle in general. Just gotta go really wide. I'm gonna go for this. You really notice the acceleration when you get shocked. Oh my god, the drift. have to kind of get creative with your lines sometimes. You guys like that triple mini turbo chain? Slip drift? That was great. I was able to outline Devil there, but I'm asking for a blue shell. Alright, Devil's back in front. Devil looks like uh, he knows what he's doing with the Sneakster. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. What? What? I have zero idea how that even could ha possibly happen. I I'm very confused right now. Are you serious? No box? I'm I'm screwed. If red if a red shell comes, 
I'm gonna go for this box. Oh, green shell. Dodged everything. Great lap. Third place. We take those. Back on top. We're gonna gain like 200 for this. 154. Okay. 68.23. Tony's got 67.74. Devil, 8,400. Gains 111 for first place. And Spock is the low 9,000 player. Just barely above 9,000. Let's see if Spock can maintain 9,000 plus. It's gonna be tough for Spock. It's gonna be tough. I'm scared to get bumped off here. For good reason. That was really close, but we made it out alive. <gasps> going wide, going wide. Pass me, pass me, pass me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that was really, really unlucky because the fake item box got both of us. Classic Mario Kart lag. That's always a good feeling when it's your fake item box, though. And you get multiple people. This is actually a pretty good track for this vehicle, not gonna lie. We're gonna make it work. Oh, 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 oh! I almost fell off. I need to be a lot smarter with how I take that corner. I, I would've fallen off if I went for that boost panel. I had to play it safe. Did you see me stall on the boost panel? That was crazy. I almost overshot it though. That was kind of risky. I shouldn't have went for that. Got the box. Nice. That's a good pull. And, oh, that's so unlucky. I got wheelie bumped. I pull off the shortcut. Should have been in third. At least I didn't fall off though. This thing has a decent weight stat. It's not bad. I'm just gonna do this. This is gonna be much better, like this, and then just do that. Oh, back green. That was insane. I cannot believe I'm alive. That was a brutal, brutal target pal. I did that perfectly. I should be dead right now. Amazing bomb dodge. I literally saw that. The no, no, no! Oh, oh! What is this race? What is this race? I cannot believe this race. One of the craziest races I've had in a while. So many like awesome evasion moments. That was awesome. I outlined the flame runner on the anti-gravity turn and I took third. A well-earned bronze. So many amazing dodge moments. Especially the moment where I saw him pull out the bomb and I went up left. Oh, really had to work for that third place. Cause the thing is with that track is like one thing goes wrong and then uh, you know, you end up in a middle position and two things go wrong in lap, lap three and then you end up in a bottom position. All right, look at, look at me and Tony. Race to 7,000. We're both just one race away if we have a good one here. This is crazy. Okay, Bowser's Castle, let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did I seriously not get a box? That was terrible. Some good evasion, and we're getting in the box, and oh my god, this texture is so beautiful. I love it. Yo, do we go for the glitch, or is that stupid? The answer is yes. Oh, the fake item box. I actually went around it, which was pretty nice, but my angle was just a little bit too far to the left. Better than getting fib, though. 
Because then I would have got fibbed, and then I would have boosted off the edge. I would have lost like an additional three or four seconds. Smart to trap it, though. There's definitely some good players in this room who could do that glitch. Lots of lag. 30 FPS. Well, the shortcut's blocked, so I'm gonna chill here. Had a really good sequence there. I'm in a middle position. Decent chance of getting a thundercloud in these positions. Really don't want a thundercloud. Gonna go wide here. Gonna play the don't get hit game. This sucks. Raced really well for the last lap, but uh, just was a victim to a combo. And now we're in last by quite a bit. So I really need a bullet bill here. This is the worst item I could have pulled. Good thing it's only lap two. This is so bad. This is the worst item I could have pulled here because this is not a good item here at all because it's you can't make the corners of the sneaks here. You gotta spin drift everything. And I gotta just waste the rest of it. Yep. Oh. Megusa's on the spear. Jesus. Please dodge me. Please dodge me. Please dodge me. I need it so bad. Please. Yes! Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I earned that second place. I raced really well, honestly. Okay. That is such a hard track to navigate. The key is you have to spin drift off the stairs multiple times because then you get a tighter angle and you can make the corners. It's kind of like playing 200cc mock bike. That's what I would compare it to. 150cc sneakster on BCW. 7123. Tony has 6999. We reached 7000 before Tony. Get wrecked, Tony. Get wrecked. No, I'm just kidding. Me and Tony are in this together, guys. We're in this together. I'm actually racing friendly with Tony because uh, fellow sneakster comrade, we gotta, we gotta look out for each other on the Wing Five streets. Things are rough out there. Yes, we got Mushroom Gorge. Yes. Okay, I want to get first. I want to get first with uh, the sneakster on Mushroom Gorge. The only track the sneakster has had the world record on, it was by a Japanese player. I think their name was T, and it was in like 2014 or 2013, and it was an epic world record. And it lasted a couple months. It wasn't like a world record that just lasted a day. Oh. <laughs> that was a weird moment. Weird physics interaction. Nope. Nope. Not today. It's a good fib. However, I am on the sneakster and this thing can't drift. Going wide. Spock is trapping everywhere. He's a man on a mission right now. Gotta be careful for Spock. He wants to regain some of that VR. He's trying to get back to 9,000. All right, this is gonna be fun. That was a really good throw. He dodged it. No target shock. Nice. Did the sneakster proud. That's what I wanted the most today. I wanted to get first on Mushroom Gorge online. Nice. Perfect gameplay. 
and uh, played really safe, but sometimes you gotta play safe when you're playing online. That's how you dodge the traps. Wide lines are better than uh, hitting walls, that's for sure. Let me uh, get that information on Mushroom Gorge. I have the website open right now, the world record website. So, the world record that was done with the Sneakster was, oh, hang on, this is the glitch category. Yo, Tony got third. Tony's right on my tail. It's close. Uh, anyway, so the world record that was done with the Sneakster was in 2011. It was by a player that is uh, known as M, and their me name was T, T-E-A. The time was 142.6. Daisy Nitro Cycle. GameCube controller, the world record lasted 87 days, which is really good. And uh, yeah, definitely did the Sneakster proud. I have not had a single race where I've lost VR in an hour and 10 minutes of streaming. I just saw Luigi Circuit got picked. Never mind, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm about to lose 300 points. Just kidding, I only have 7,000, so I can't even lose that much. Gotta love it. This is actually a great track for the sneak steer. No, no, no! Okay, we're gonna bag. Oh, this texture is so beautiful. I love this texture. There's so many good Luigi circuit textures. I literally change my Luigi circuit texture like every couple months. There's also a really, a really good Mario Kart Stadium one I used for a while. I'm gonna bag. Star, please. Nope. I'm gonna bag some more. Oh, I messed that up. That's really unfortunate. I was I was counting the seconds in my head, and I, I really thought I timed that perfectly. Did I seriously pull one green shot on four? On the most critical item box on Luigi Circuit? The good news is... We still got a top spot. Let's go, let's go. We're gaining more points, boys. What are we at now, what are we at? 55 for fifth. 73.57. Tony got six, not bad, not bad. Spock, shouts to Spock. He's worked his way up to 9,200. He was at like 9,011 points at one point and I really thought he was gonna dip down to 8,000 but he's on a run right now, he's doing really well. It's hard to keep above 9,000 in this room. Tony and I are taking everyone's points. All right, we got Moo Meadows. This is actually an amazing sneakster course. I'm probably gonna get a top spot on this one. Oh, my box got jacked, that sucks. I'm gonna go wide, I don't wanna get hit. I want a blue shell so badly right now. I'll win this race if a blue shell comes. There it is. I'm gonna use this mushroom. I'm gonna take over first. I didn't even see it, but I heard it. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. We're still in first. And we got this amazing, incredible, stupendous, spectacular speed stat. Hopefully that will carry us to first place. Just gotta hope for... Is there a top three sneakster right now? Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. I tried to get in between those shells. This thing just can't drift. Normally you just go inside, but I'm like hard drifting right, and then I was like, oh, I can't make it, and I tried to go between, and I failed. We're gonna gain 83 points. Wow, I really love having low VR. Quite the treat. 
quite the treat. Okay. So I'm looking at the leaderboard right now. Everyone is in the 7,000s and the 6,000s, except for Ebot and Spock. So not too much VR to farm. Hopefully after this race, we'll be ready to play custom tracks. Just gotta gain like 60 more. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. I do not like this one bit. This might be the first race where we actually lose points. We have yet to lose points. And we've gained 2,400 VR. Can we keep it going? Let's find out. Do we go for glitch? Because you can't even make the corner after. <laughs> Definitely not. Even if you make the glitch, you'd be screwed. That's totally fine. I don't even care about getting banana there because I have to take these corners so slow anyway. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I have to go, I have to do this. This is my only line of play. What even was that? It worked, it worked. I'm being so mean to everyone right now. Wheelie lock. Thank you, Mushroom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That just saved me. Sometimes you get really screwed over by the physics on this course. This is a really tough track. It's one of the hardest ones in the game for sure. Like, look at that. I just like, for no reason right there, just shot up and got air. That just sums up DK Mountain. I need to make sure I don't have that happen again right here. Beautiful. Gotta love the blue shell. I'm in first on DK Mountain with the Sneakster Lap 3. Are we really about to pull this off? Yeah, first place. Had to concentrate, didn't talk like the entire lap. A lot happened. The POW, the blue shell, the U-turns, which are like really, really tough with the vehicle. The truth is, is people just suck at that track. I always do well on DK Mountain, except when I'm being stupid and I go for the glitch and fail it and lose spots and try to create an epic moment. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my best tracks. We got 75.99. We have yet to lose a single race and lose points on a single race. That's what I meant. And we're playing custom tracks now. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and we're going to lose some VR on custom tracks. It's going to be a great time. Yo, perfect time to get big again there. That was great. There's some strat you can do right here. I just can't see it. It's blind until... Oh, I missed the rail. Dang it. So I have to cut this a little bit wide. I'm probably going to... Oh! That freaked me out. <laughs> that's my favorite part of the whole track. That, that That's hilarious. I love that. Very creative. Ah, where do I go? Where do I go? Right here. Okay. Why did I just bounce over that? That was weird. Where is it? Right here, right here. Yep. I played this enough times where I don't fall for that anymore. I cannot believe it. There was not a single blue shell in three minutes. Like, how lucky can I get? Because you get blued, you get comboed, you end up in the middle, and then when you're in the middle, anything can happen. 
131 points. We're no longer gaining 300 a race, but 131, not too shabby. And uh, there's not too many people to farm VR off of. There's a lot of 6,000 players in this room. My vehicle's faster. Ha ha. Oh, what a sick snipe. Oh, oh, go, go, go. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bam. Yes. Let's go. We take those. That helps me so much. Still in second. That was hilarious. Just make this track two laps. That's an easy fix. Because then I'd almost be done with it right now. I know much creeps. I was thinking the exact same thing. Because my vehicle went boing and I missed that last boost panel, I got boost shot on the line. Imagine if I would have lost that race because of that. That would have been hilarious. Oh man. But yeah, I don't think I fell off a single time except for on lap two, uh, but I dodged the shock there. And that was a tough sequence because I had to take a weird angle because I got fib sniped. All right, we're at 78.52, 122 points for first. <sighs> Let's keep it going. Ooh, yes. Okay, something new, something exciting. Let's go. Look at look at that. There's windmills inside the item boxes. I've only played this track a few times. I don't know the layout, so we're just going to kind of wing it. I'm sure there's some shortcuts, and I'll just have to learn along the way. I'm going to look at the mini-map a lot for this one, so I don't, like, miss anything, uh, anything too noteworthy. Oh, I almost fell off there. That was close. I have no idea what I'm doing. Can I trick off these? No. I don't want to be in first. There's going to be at least one blue shell. It's a super long course. This is a good vehicle for this course. It's, it's very easy to drive. It's a bunch of straightaways and, and whatnot. There's the blue shell I was talking about earlier. Yes, thank you, Invisible Wall. Yo, shouts to this custom track designer for adding an Invisible Wall. I was so ready for there not to be one right there. I was so ready. A lot of custom tracks lack Invisible Walls. That red actually got around the corner. That sucks. I, I really didn't think it would. At least I dodged the other red with the green. It's okay. I'm still in third. This is a good spot to be in. I just need to get this box right here. I'm susceptible to reds right now. There, he has a red. I have to slow down. I'm going to get... Try to snipe him. Got him. Got him. Yes! I'm back in first. Oh! Sniped him while he had the red. And then the blue shell took out first and second. That was crazy. <gasps> I was about to get so mad at custom tracks right there. <laughs> That was so close. I can't believe it. That's the thing is some of these custom tracks, if you're small, you could really get screwed over on the ramps. You gotta be careful. That was a good green throw by uh, Derby. We take second. Nice. All right, let's see uh, how many we get for this. Probably 80 to 90 points, I'd imagine. Maybe 100. 79 is not that great. 
There's actually a spot in the room right now. And we're back to 12. All right, I don't know how good this vehicle will be on this track. However, it is 100 CC and that will definitely help us. And we're getting chain wheelies for days right now. And we're playing dirty because we have to. That was so unlucky. That green shell just bounced off seven walls and hit me. That's so stupid. I hate that. But look at it. The spiral section is no problem at all because of 100cc. I love that. That's great. And here is the snaking cylinder. But in Mario Kart, you just wheelie. Mario Kart wheel. <laughs> Much easier. Oh, I tried to make that red shell hit derby, but it had its eyes locked on me, that's for sure. Oh, 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 we're good, we're good. That was close. The cylinder actually works. In the old versions of this track, the cylinder didn't do anything. But now it's like an actual hazard. You gotta be careful on it for sure. an amazing vehicle on 100cc for this course. Having no problem keeping up with the Flame Runner player in first right now, Derby. No problem whatsoever. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Oh, ah! You do not want to hit that. It's like hitting Cactus. It's so bad. <sighs> Had barely enough speed to make that work. That was funny. Isn't this a beautiful custom track? It literally looks perfect. I believe this was Sneaky's creation. One of the custom track goats. Where's the blue shells, man? Where's the blue shells? Oh, that was a good throw. Top three completely broke away and there was no blue shells. And we all had like a two second lead over each other and we just front ran. I'm gonna exit this room and start another one. The truth of the matter is, is there's not enough people in this room with high enough VR. So the races are kind of dull. So we're gonna mix things up and we're gonna reset. We got 8,000 points. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm not out of bounds. I thought I was out of bounds. I didn't realize it was gonna be so narrow This is only one lap I need to be, I need to really you know pick up the pace It's it's gonna be a lot harder now that I'm in the 8,000s to uh, maintain my streak of not losing points in a single race But we'll keep it going as long as we can it might end on this race. We'll see. We'll see Isn't there some sort of like broken glitch on this track? where you can like do a respawn shortcut. I don't know, I can't remember. Whoa, it's been so long since I played this one. Oh, I was in dodge items for so long, but nothing.
I feel bad for the new players who play that track and don't know you can trick off that and everyone just passes them. Oh, I should have got that box. I'm stupid. Giant Koopa. Oh! I think you can just drift off to the side here, right? Yeah. I see Tony up there. Oh, I want to pass him so bad, but I can't. Blew up, dodged the shock in a cannon that lasts like a quarter of a second. That was actually hilarious to watch. <laughs> we take third, let's go. That track terrifies me because the end, the Koopas are just going crazy. And man, if you get hit by one of those Koopas, you spin out for a while and you lose all your speed and it's only one lap track, so there's no time to catch up. 70 points, huge, huge. We have 8,087 points, making quick work of Enmead's punishment. Quick work. Nick, once I get to 9,000, I'm gonna play until I lose VR and I'm gonna try to get to 9999, but very unlikely. Definitely looking like 9,000 is gonna happen though. We got Shroom Ridge. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Tony. Taking me down. That was the tightest I could drift right there. I'm not even kidding. I was drifting as tight as I can. And that was the most I could do. That was hilarious. Come on. Yo, everyone's dropping. Yo, golden mushroom. Gotta be really careful with this thing. Tony's in first. We got top two sneaks on Shroom Ridge right now. Oh! That's a great pull. Do I want to pass Tony? Oh, I got bumped into the wall. Dang it. I was inside that car's wheels. Did you guys see that? How did I not get hit right there? That was the closest I could have ever been. To not getting hit. Probably a single pixel away from getting completely mauled by that blue car. Jesus, man. Jesus. That was my fault. I didn't realize I had my item already and I spammed a mushroom into a car. That should not have happened. I was not going to hit that car otherwise. <sighs> okay, that was just my mistake. I thought I was going to be far further to the left there. All right, too many, too many mistakes. This is just too many cars to avoid. <laughs> Where's the items? Is there no item set here? Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. All right, we're losing points. That was a rough one. There it is. I'm happy that enemy gets to witness this. Because I'm sure he misses being in enemy territory. So uh, we're doing him a favor. Giving him some nostalgia in the Road to 99 series where I played exclusively custom tracks. Nick would flounder his way down to the 7000s on a regular basis as he tried to navigate through the twisty tracks that he had no idea what a lot of them were, playing a lot of them for the first time on that series. And Nick, 
That race was dedicated to you, my friend. Oh, this track's good. I like this one. Camp Cardigan. I played it on Troy vs. Custom Track. It's a really solid one. Do I know the layout? Sort of. Kind of. Not really. Oh. Alright, I gotta play better. That last race was bad. Made too many mistakes. Sorry, Tony. I'm getting, like, really good at fib sniping recently. My green shell snipes can use some work, but my fib sniping is on point. I don't know what the fastest lines are for this track. I feel like I need to just follow Elias here. I, I just can't remember. It was a while ago when I played this track. I feel like it's faster to go this way, is it not? Ooh, maybe it's not. I feel like I lost time there. <gasps> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna follow Elias. I remember that shortcut. Oh, I slowed him, I think. That was a good redemption race. We needed that. We need to get out of enemy territory. There's nothing worse in Mario Kart than being in enemy territory. Nothing worse. Some people get stuck in enemy territory for years. Because once you're in the 7,000s, like the upper 7,000s, it starts to get hard to get VR. You know, you're not winning two, 300 a race when you get first. Like, I got 142 for first there. So, like, if, if we get, like, middle spots now, we're going to lose points. You know? If we get seventh, we're definitely going to lose points now. So, now we got to start really taking it seriously. Oh, this is a tough track. I think I'll do okay on it, but there's definitely going to be some corners where we struggle. This is called... Uh, I don't know. Alpine Pass? I don't know. Alpine something. Have I played this track on Troy vs. Custom Track? I might have. It's been in CTGP a while. I feel like I have. Oh, wide, 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 wide. Can I make this? Okay. Bad timing for the pal. Kind of screwed me. Everyone else dodged it and got the full boost. They're gaining on me. One of the... I'm going to try to screw everyone. Yeah! Elias got totally wrecked by that. Nice. It's a fun strategy in this game. You're gonna get blue shell, take some people down with you. One of the uh, big reasons why I've done well today is I've just been using my rearview mirror like crazy. I'm sure you guys have noticed. But uh, it's one of the most important things about this game. It's one of the biggest utilities you can uh, take advantage of. The most important things to learn once you have the lines down for the tracks and the mechanics down for the vehicles is just being able to use your rear view mirror effectively because the thing is is the rear view mirror in this game is phenomenal it works much better than it does in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and this is so much a game of evasion it's so much of a game of like not getting hit that you need to just like keep your eyes peeled at all times and there's always incoming threats and most of the time these incoming threats are actually behind you not in front of you so, like, you want to look back all the time, and that's one of the things I realized with new players, is they don't look back enough. Like, the best players in the world, they look back way more than I do. That's what I've noticed. Like, I actually try not to look back too much, because, like, the YouTube comment section will complain. 
but I would look back more if it weren't for the YouTube comments section. This is not good. Oh, I got really screwed there. Really screwed by that thundercloud. Literally got past me on its final second. Okay, not trying to get star. Can I get a bullet bill? Please, please, please. Or the shock. Yes. I'm going to hold this for a second. After the boost panels, I'll use it. I want to pass some people because it's going to drop me immediately if I use it in 12. Can I get to 11th at least? Alright, 11th. I need it to be used on the spiral because I lose so much time on the spiral with the sneakster. We're back in it, guys. We're back in it. Nice pow dodge. Yes. 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 I was in last place entering lap three. Oh, the comeback. Oh my gosh, the best race of the entire stream. We had another good one where I dodged the shock. What track was that? Bowser's Castle, I think it was. Oh my gosh. Oh. I deserve that for getting blue shelled on lap one. Yo, Devil, second place, nice. I'm happy I didn't squish Devil, but I was not about to go around Devil because I needed to go through Devil in order to win. I only had like one second left on the Mega Mushroom. and Anything can happen in this game. I wasn't about to play nice. Wanted the first place. We're trying to complete the Flounderfest punishment. <sighs> We're out for blood today. Another legendary Mario Kart DS track. I don't know if MK Dasher is still here, but I think Abel's th still here. I hope he enjoys this one. This is an incredible recreation of Mario Circuit, one of my favorite tracks in the game, and my favorite Mario Circuit track of any of the Mario Kart games. Mario Kart DS's Mario Circuit has such a good layout. Also, it's going to be a tough track for the Sneakster, but I think I can make it work because what I love about this course so much is he made it so you can drive through the off-road and still maintain your drift, which is super fun. It's Grom Volcano off-road, which is the best off-road in the game, one of the reasons I love Grumble so much. But like this corner, like see, I can make it work by slowing down. And then right here, I'm going to cut it inside. And even though I'm going to lose a little bit of time, it's so much better than having to take it really wide. That was a pretty good throw. Tony's going for that box, I think. Can I get a box? No, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. No, thanks. That was a rough lap. Oh, I thought I would get the chain. Give me someone good. That's really good. What? What? That was not even going for me. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, that is so unlucky. The red shell is just rounding the corner and I'm doing the cut. I was purposely going to hit the wall and use my last mushroom. And I got lagged. Hmm, 8100. Brutal. That was such a tough race. I was, I was just in the crosshairs of everything. I really had no chance. It was definitely one of the toughest races of the day. That one and Shroom Ridge were brutal. Bashi Skate Park, I think is the name of it. Okay, we're doing this. Got bumped. Couldn't do the shortcut, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it next lap. We're okay, we're okay.
This vehicle will do okay on this course. Oh, that was weird. I didn't get my uh, my trick. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That's a great pull. Watch out for the toads on the skateboards. <gasps> that was really good. That was really bad. Oh, 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 oh! Freaky. I'm going wide because it makes it easier to do the U-turn right here. I'm so happy I didn't get squished. It's like the worst thing that can happen to you in this game except for getting bombed. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I can still salvage six. Yes! Yes! I think I got six. That's fine. That's fine. Another race where uh, something happened that was just kind of out of my control. A back bomb. And back bombs in this game are so dumb. One of the dumbest things. I always feel cheap when I do it. Because it's like, it's so easy to do. And it, the damage is the same as a blue shell. Okay, we only lost one point. That's, that's really good. The Mega Mushroom definitely saved me at the end. I would've got like 8th or ninth if it weren't for the Mega. I needed a Mushroom or a Mega Mushroom. Can I do this and do like a shortcut? <laughs> that did not work. I'm, I'm getting really dumb right now. I need to play smarter. I'm sorry guys. This is entirely my fault right now. We really need the dodge. Hmm. It's a hard track with this vehicle. I'm learning that the hard way. I'm gonna lose like two or three hundred for this. I tried to trick, but I think I tricked too late. Okay, give me the bullet. Hmm. All right. You know what? We got a little carried away on this one. I'm gonna be smarter. On custom tracks, I promise. Won't be doing stupid shortcuts. They looked easy. They looked easy. And I really thought if I jumped with the bullet bill, it would like, because the bullet bills are really smart in this game, but yeah. That's what I get for trying three different shortcuts. Failed all of them. Wow. This brings me back. This track is old. I really like this course. It's just, I don't know if I don't remember how to play it that well. It, I haven't played this track in so long, it's not even funny. But I used to be really good at this one. Let's see if I can harness my old school candy coaster skill. You can't trick entering that cannon, that's interesting. Yeah, this track's really fun. I think I could do like a shortcut here. <laughs> that kind of worked. Like low key. Blue shell. Oh! I could have swore you could jump over that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Definitely not taking optimal lines here. Oh, I think he dodged the blue shell using the cannon. Yo, let's go. That was sick.
Nice. Shortcut. It's 100 CC, so I can't do the bigger shortcut. There's a there's a much better one on this level. Doing really well so far. I did not get the trick. Gotta watch out for this fake item box. Oh, a mushroom. Blue shell, blue shell. Gonna slow down. Go, 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 go. Yes, second. Oh, I'm happy I backed up there. I was in my head, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is a Shy Guy Beach ramp, which means that you could just bounce off it immediately and get, get back to full speed. That really saved me a lot of time. I definitely saved a few positions. Oh, third, I got second. I felt like I got second. All right. That was a solid top three. Was that a top three, all sneaksters? I'm not sure, but that was still really, really a good race. These are some quality sneakster lines right here. Could not have done that better if I tried. Unfortunately, I missed the trick. So there goes my lead. Whoa! I don't know why that happened, but I almost fell off. No mushrooms. There it is. No trick, that was weird. We have a big breakaway. This is like one of the most fun custom tracks ever made. It's old too. That's why I'm good at it. Like I used to play custom tracks a lot and this one's been in the pack for like, oh man, for like a decade, forever. I laid a trap. <laughs> Let's get a mushroom. Aww. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop goofing around. It's actually pretty close. <laughs> that was too fun. That was way too fun. Honestly, an amazing track for the Sneakster. There's no turns on that track the Sneakster can't make. A lot of the toughest corners, there's ways to 
do a shortcut, shroomless, and skip the corner altogether. So, ends up uh, working out really nicely. 8200. All right, time to lose some points. At least it's 150cc and not mirror mode. So I'm happy for that. I just have to remember the layout of this one because it's been a while. Let's see, where do I go left? And then we make a right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> stay away, Tony, stay away. Yeah, Tony took the shortcut, but come on, Tony, you're on the sneakster. There's no way you can make that work. Oh, I tried to pinpoint Dave. This is brutal. Can I even make this? Where is this going to respawn me? Yeah, I'm really in a bad place right now. The thundercloud screwed my whole race. It's like, it sucks because you have to take that shortcut or you lose a boatload of time. So I was like, I got to go for it. Going around that giant corner while small, it would have taken forever. But obviously, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done it because I failed it. I don't want golden mushrooms. I can't do anything with these. I actually prefer this to a golden because I could chain it right here. Which is so funny. That was the meanest thing I've ever done. <laughs> that was pretty funny though. <laughs> Alright, I have the, the item I've been waiting to pull the whole time. This is like the best case scenario. I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna play it really risky. I'm gonna use it once the Funky Kong gets to that box right there. Right here. That was a terrible bullet bill. I took horrible lines. Use it! I hope I got seventh. I really hope I got seventh. Nice. We take those. Best case scenario. That track is absolute torture with the Sneakster. One of the worst ones in the entire 250. <sighs> All right. Still got a Sneakster player in the room. Dave. Let's go, Dave. So Tony might not be in the room anymore. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was the freest bomb ever. Everyone goes for that shortcut because it's shroomless. It's so free. So... Definitely dirty, but it had to be done, guys. It had to be done. I took out half the room with that bomb. Oh! That's a great fib spot. You know what's so funny? They both put the fake item box there. Like, they know that's the fib spot. Okay, well, I know what not to do next lap. This is a really tough track for the Sneakster, for obvious reasons. But I'm making it work. I'm slowing down a lot to make it work. Just gotta go really slow. Wow, that's an amazing item. Amazing. Especially for this section where there's no boost panels. Just one small one here, but we're gaining a lot of ground right now. Let's go, let's go.
Come on, green shell. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna it's gonna hit me now. I'm so scared of this green shell. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is such a good trap spot. Everyone does that trimless cut. Oh my gosh, that was a good throw. I did not think that was gonna hit me. So I lose a lot of time to the flame runner there, but it's all good. Oh man, this is close. Where's my trick? Where's my trick? I, I pressed it guys, I swear. I really like being in second right now, just because uh, I'm very safe. If there's a blue shell, I win the race. Worst case scenario, I get second. That's what we're looking at right now. Can you do the shortcut trimless? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. What even was that? Oh man, we take second, we take second. <laughs> Clearly like not too familiar with the proper way to play that track. I did decent though, I did decent. Pretty happy with second. We're gonna go back to Nintendo's now. And we should be about at 8,300. So we got about 700 more points to go. 82, 63, nice, okay. Yes, we got Mushroom Gorge, yes. The best track for the Sneakster. Can we get another W? We got a bunch of flame runners in the room. I'm about to take them all down. There's one more Sneakster though. I saw one more. Got him. I dropped my wheelie and I, I saved myself. I literally decided that last second. I'm so happy I did that, so happy. That would have been a terrible respawn point. That would have been equivalent to getting target shocked. Oh my God, I actually hit someone with that banana. That's hilarious. That banana was there for a while. I don't know how that person hit that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't want that thundercloud. I really don't want that thundercloud. <gasps> yes! Oh, so lucky, so lucky. That was almost race ending for me. I would have been in like seventh place. That would have been horrible. Okay, he didn't get the draft, which is good. You know what? That's honestly my fault. I should have slowed down. I don't know why I thought I'd be okay. I got too cocky. This is horrible. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Can we do it on mirror? Mushroom Gorge delivers. That was such an entertaining race. Wow. I'm okay with that. We're gonna gain a couple points, I think. <sighs> Man. I got so much air off the PAL. I did not get to take the alignment I wanted because the PAL actually gives you more air sometimes when you're in the air and you get PAL. Like, I shot so high off that mushroom pad. Plus 36, yes, we take those. Oh, this is good. We got a 9999 player in the room. This is what we need. We need to beat Jack so we get a bunch of points. And look at this, we have Blonde DMD 9700, lost 297 points in one race. Poor DMD. Okay. Beautiful, I think that's my first burnout of the day. We were due for a burnout, it's been a long time. All right, we got some great custom music here. I love this texture. I'm gonna use this texture forever, by the way. This is my favorite Delphino Square texture I've ever found. And none of the others are even close.
Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I held the bullet for the perfect amount of time. I waited. That was short lived. Okay, that's fine, whatever. But yeah, anyway. I waited till I was in sixth, because if you use a bullet in sixth, it tries to get you to first. Boo. Boo. And that, my friends, is why you use your rear view mirror. I would have got squished there if I didn't go really, really wide. I'm just getting wheelie bumped everywhere today, aren't I? Man, that shortcut's kind of a... That was some good evasion. I, of course I pulled one green shell in like fifth. Jesus. But anyway... This is a crazy race. I would have easily won this one if there wasn't a blue shell the second after I dodged. Like, what even was that? That was a crazy green. I'm really surprised that I didn't hit anybody. Give me a mushroom. Had to do it. I really like fourth right now. If I could pull a mega mushroom, I'm set up so well. That's still good. That's still really good. The respawn point is good. Delfino Square is a phenomenal track. If that was Mushroom Gorge, or Waluigi Stadium, or Wario's Goldmine, it would have put me before the ramp. But on Delfino, pretty pog. Pretty pog. All right, we got 8390. We're making quick work of this challenge. Enemy's got nothing on us, and we beat Jack. And we need to get points off Jack and DMD. They're the high rollers in this room. And we're trying to, you know, we're feasting right now. We're feasting on everybody's VR. This has been a fun stream for me. Also, I love it because it takes like no setup. I don't have to set up the KOs. That's why I'm so excited about the KO mode. I'm not gonna have to set up anything. It's just gonna be all done for me. It's gonna be glorious. I played this track earlier today, so I got the lines down a lot better. I, I kind of floundered it the first run through today. I had a lot of trouble with it, but that was a phenomenal first lap. I really couldn't have done that any better. That's such a good trap spot, because no one will see it coming until it's too late. I just bounced over that boost panel. You guys see that? All right, we're in second. Gonna go wide, a little bit wide. And I'm going to the right in the cannon so I can make this corner. Otherwise, it's really hard to make it. But see, I can make it easily if I do that. Oh! I dodged it, I dodged it. That was an incredible dodge. Nice, oh man, we can catch him, we can catch him. Can I get up this stupid thing? Jesus. Oh, 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 I'm going wide. Uh, I could have like went for it and went for the U-turn and tried to evade the blue and gotten first, but I played it safe. I did not want to get blue shelled. <sighs> Have to play it safe. I'm okay with second. Mario Kart is so much a game of consistency, you know, so you don't want to take huge risks. And I was not about to try to cut that inside when the blue shell was coming. 113 for second. Nice. We're at 8,500, only 497 VR to go. 
Oh man, okay. We're stealing DMD and Jack's VR. It's amazing. Highway robbery happening on the Wing 5 streets right now. Oh no! Parkway. And, and we have 150cc. <laughs> I hit someone with that fake item box. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. All right, Dave, we got this, boy. We got this. Oh, man, it's three Sneaksters in bottom three right now. This is a tough track with the Sneakster. I knew Dave was going to go for that box because I was going to go for that box, and our lines are limited with this vehicle. That was pretty funny. I'm learning the hard way, the shortcomings of the Sneakster. <laughs> I am learning the hard way, guys. That is one of the great things about being shocked when you're in a bottom spot, is you're only small for like two seconds. But look how far behind we are, it's brutal. That was really good. I was so happy I pulled a star there. I, I was hoping to pull a star. Or the shock. Something chainable. Whenever you see me back up into an item and try to double double uh, chain like that, that's what I'm hoping for. <gasps> that was amazing. That was so good. Oh! Okay, I'm, I'm really happy I didn't get comboed there. I, I thought for sure he would throw that right at me. This is amazing. We're in fifth right now. Blue shell, blue shell. Going wide, going wide. And Derby just got a first place. No! Oh, they had goldens or triple mushrooms. I was I was really hoping I was gonna get uh, fourth place there. I think I got sixth. Sixth. I really wanted to beat Jack, but at least we beat DMD. So we only lost five points for that. But I was about to gain like 60 or at least 40 for sure. So that was unfortunate. I still raced that really well, honestly. I was happy with that. I just messed up on lap two. I fell off. Let's go. We got Peach Gardens. I've been really wanting this one for a while. This is a good sneakster track. The only turn that sucks is the shortcut turn. But if we pull a mushroom, we're chilling. So I'm going to try to get triple mushrooms right here. I'm going to go really wide. And hope for the best. Got the box. Triple mushrooms. Did I just get a single green shell in seventh? I was probably in fifth when I got the box, but that is just atrocious. That is disgusting. Putrid. I'm absolutely pissed off right now. That was a good bomb throw. But we're in the vortex, as Nicholas would say. Good thing it's lap one. Got him. Nice. The Mario Kart gods have blessed me. You guys see that? That green shell should have hit me. It just decided to stop working the second that it was about to crack on my noggin. That was close. That was very close. I 
I don't know how we're in third. It feels like we're in eighth. No wonder why DMD keeps finishing at the bottom. DMD is using meme vehicles. I didn't even notice that. Shouts to DMD. This is awesome. I'm really hoping I pull Mushroom right here. Not not having good luck this race. Not having good luck at all. Oh, thank you, Banana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I, I did have good luck with the, uh, the other racer's items, but just not with my own. Like, that green shell cracking on nothing on lap two was phenomenal. That sucks. I'm gonna go for the snipe. Wow, what was I supposed to do about that? What? Dude, these items are garbage. Complete cabbage. I got really lucky. I just happened to get big as I was boosting down the stairs. And everyone else had to go down the stairs slowly, step by step by step. Fifth place, plus 17, let's go. Miracle fifth place, miracle. I got starred on the second half of lap three, I still got fifth. And I pulled a red shell for my final box in eighth place. And I pulled like a single green in fifth, what felt like seventh at the beginning. I couldn't pull a mushroom the entire race. That was really, really annoying, Jesus. Give me the draft. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, no major, bro. Got him, got him, let's go. I'm on a snipe frenzy today. I just clicked the button too late. That's one thing that happens in this game. You start playing too long, you start like making stupid mistakes because your brain just kind of goes numb, you know? I'm... Wow, the bullet goes really far to the right there. I should try to remember that. That was that was rough. All right, it's okay. It's only lap two. We're fine. We're fine. I'm just going to try not to get starred here. Yes. Yes. So the shock was used at 129. So at 159, the shock is back in play. So we're gonna hold this bullet to at least 159. I wanna get into six, then the bullet will last the maximum amount of time. So I'm gonna hold the bullet for a while. Unless I have to use it, of course. I know when I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it right when the Yoshi passes the first set. So I'm gonna use it right here. Use the shock, Yoshi. Nope. That was so mean. Oh, I would have won. I, I literally predicted that perfectly. The Yoshi actually pulled the shock, but the Yoshi for some reason decided to hold the shock for a couple seconds. Oh, that makes me so mad. I played that like almost perfectly. Die, Jack. Bye. I'm going to try to snipe him. 
that was such a good throw. Imagine if I sniped him. Oh my god, I would have went crazy. Still, still, I still got Jack, and I got to take some VR off of him. But if if I if I would have got him, that would have went as its own separate video. If I, if I would have like fib sniped at the end there, oh, that would have been the best thing ever. That was a well earned second place. We're in the 8600 territory. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Jack still has 9,600, which is pretty crazy. He's really fighting off the 8,000 and 7,000 players right now. And DMD is uh, just giving us free VR. Shouts to DMD for memeing it up and losing 900 points. But DMD will have no problem getting back to nines. DMD is a solid racer for sure. How hard is it to do the sneakster, the ultra with the sneakster? I'm kind of curious. I think I'm going to go for it. Because, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't really want to deal with that U-turn, and if I can make it, that would be super hype. I, I think I'm going to go for it. Where is it? Probably like... I'll go for a next lap, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. It's really hard to red people on this course. There we go, there we go. This track's a lot harder on 150. I played it earlier on 100, much easier. Having a lot harder time right now, just evading everybody and taking the corners tight. Like, I'm taking the corners really wide. Definitely gotta learn the lines for, for 150. Oh, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. I'm going wide, going wide. Thank you, Jack, thank you, thank you, thank you. He could have definitely went wide and tried to kill me right there, but he was he was friendly. Yes! Yes! Oh, I did that so fast. I had to because everyone was there. Got him. I'm just dunking on people right now, dude. Oh, Jack got a mushroom. Oh, man. Okay, Jack could still pull a mushroom. We're definitely going to block the cut because he will go for it and he will make it. Perfect. No, 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 no. Okay, at least we blocked it. Got the box. Nope. That was my best race, race all day, I think. I literally couldn't have played better. Oh. I really like how I took the last U-turn on lap three. I, I braked, double hopped, drifted, cut it super tight. Like, I fended off all the flame runners. <clears throat> okay, we're at 87.29. We're really doing the Snickster justice on these Nintendo tracks. Yo, we got Koopa Cape. Oh, man. This is quite the stream today. Quite the stream. It's also the longest stream I've done in a while. Shroomba! That's the most air I've ever gotten. That's the least air I've ever gotten. Alright, this is an ugly start to Koopa K, but at least I got the Shroomba. I seriously think the Sneak Sir could get the world record on this track. I would love to see that one day. Probably it'd have to be glitched though. I don't think it could get no glitch. But this is such a good course for this vehicle. Can I get another green shell? Nope.
Okay, I think I gotta release that Minturbo a little bit later. I'm totally fine with this. Like, being in second is great. That sucks. Snipe. Nope. He saw it coming. I need to get out of his crosshairs. He could banana me any second. I'm gonna go around. Oh, what a dodge. You guys see that? I braked so much. I went into the grass to avoid that. Wow, I'm failing hard right now. There we go. Finally got the shroomless. Because the thing is with the sneakster is like that corner is terrible. But you can skip it by doing the shroomless cut, the world record cut. That was huge. I really needed that lap three. I have a breakaway now. I got like a two second lead. Okay, played it safe, got first. And we're on a little winning streak now. <sighs> really happy I got the shortcut lap three. Because if I didn't get that, I would have lost a couple seconds. I would have been in second or third place. And then anything could have happened at that point. <laughs> Mario Kart is all, it's, it's always about the little, the little moments, you know? The little moments really uh, tell the story for some of these races. Okay. Yo, DMD got third. Getting back to 9,000 territory. Let's go, DMD. Let's go. Rough race for Jack there, but he still has 95, which is impressive. Oh, we got dry, dry. And it's 100 CC. Oh, oh, I almost did it. I almost did it on 100. <laughs> that was the highlight of the whole stream. Yeah, 100 CC sand hop is really hard. You have to do the TF method. Or you gotta do the wheelie method. Maybe I'll go for the wheelie method next lap. It, it, it's finicky. I don't like doing the sand hop on 100 too much. That was the best item I could have pulled. Yes! <laughs> that was an amazing, amazing ultra shortcut. Because it's 100cc, so I can't do the full thing, and I can't do the drift that well because the Sinkster's drift is subpar. So that was the best I could have done that. I'm really like getting the hang of this vehicle. I'm feeling really comfortable using it. Oh, that was amazing evasion. Amazing. Jack dodge blue shell. What a beast. Nice. Low tricks. I'm going to get big at the perfect time. Let's go, perfect, perfect. Gotta watch out for that green. I'm gonna go really wide here. If I pull a mushroom, I'm gonna win this race. Didn't even get the box, but I'm so happy to avoid that blue. No! Yo, this thing has such good acceleration. You see that? I didn't even have to charge Sandstorm and Turbo. Like, went like that, drifted left. Still got third. If that was the flame runner, I charge a sandstorm main turbo. I'm stuck for another second, and who knows what happens. Third place, 40 points. Let's go. 88, 78. Only 122 more points until we're done with the flounder fest punishment. I remember when I was in the clan flow, we had some amazing.
Clan Wars in Division 1 of WCL. It's called World Clan League. I don't even know if any of you even know what that is, but we uh, we were Division 1 and we barely beat uh, IS, a clan I ended up joining later, but we ended up... Oh, that was a good throw. Uh, we ended up barely beating them. They ended up winning the entire season over uh, over us by like point differential. Um, but we ended up barely beating them in this one war. And I remember it was like one of the most hype wars I ever played. And it was Division One, and it was like we had really good teamwork that day, and like we all played really well. And like that that I, I, that one definitely stands out. It was in uh, 2011. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was a bad throw. I don't have to look back at all this race because there's nobody near us. <laughs> I knew I would pow through the car. That's why I did that. Because you are uh, you have invincibility frames. That I, I knew what I was doing. That was uh, intentional. But unfortunately, DMD failed and I'm getting blue shelled. Wah! All right, it's okay. Another blue shell's coming. I'll give him some space. Second place. Well raced by DMD for the most part. That pal was brutal though. Definitely got him on the U-turn. And when you're on the flame runner, you know, when, you, when you're getting powed and you have to stop your drift, the handling stat does matter in that instance. The Sneakster actually handles POWs really well. It's only when you're like going around a U-turn or a spiral where you kind of feel the pain of the Sneakster. But if you, you see the POW immediately, release your drift, and start using the handling stat, the handling stat on the Sneakster is superb. This could be the final race. Time to do the Toad's Factory box clip. I'm so hungry, my stomach is making a lot of noise. I feel like the longer the stream goes on, the more like mischievous I play. Got the low trick, got the shortcut, we got a little breakaway. If I could do the shortcut one more time before a blue shell, I will win this race. Never mind. That's gonna be a bad uh, respawn point. It's gonna put me before the ramp, because this track is dumb. That is so stupid. That was a great throw. I couldn't do anything about that. This corner is really tough for this vehicle. I'm going wide. All right, time to do shrimless again. I just failed the spin drift. That target shock was brutal. This is going to be tough here. Oh, that's a great pull. Because I'm actually really close to first. Wow, never mind. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I I'm going to have to go for a Mega Thundercloud. Spam, 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 spam. Ah. Uh, yes. 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 Oh, that was so mean. I had to. I had to do it. 
Oh! It's okay, it's okay. I'm almost at the finish line. It's okay. I'm not done with the challenge yet. I'm gonna go like even this race. That was such a crazy race. That was so crazy. I'm really happy I passed the thundercloud. Oh, minus 49. That's a lot. I got fifth. Come on. Come on. What is this? I'm gonna go for a shroomless cut at the beginning. And if I can pull it off, I can have a really good item in the top spot. This is a scary track though. It's easy to get bumped off being a middleweight on this on this level. I don't like this one being middleweight that much. Nice, seventh place, Mega Mushroom. Mega Mushroom in fourth place, that's that's really solid. I'm using it immediately, I'm gonna try to squish everyone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just want a front run. Couldn't have done that better. Solid first lap. Come on. The wiggler position really screwed me. It's okay though. If you guys haven't noticed, this is definitely one of my best tracks. I tend to do pretty well on this one online. It's another one of those tracks where like, people are just bad at it. It's like DK Mountain. It's one of the toughest ones though. Oh, amazing, amazing. Guys, I have all this time in the cannon where I'm unaffected by the shock. One, two, three, four. Four seconds of being immune. So I like half dodged essentially. And because I was small, it made it way easier to make that corner. So uh, fun fact, the reason why I know how to drive this track so well with the Sneakster is because there was a time period when I was going for the world record in 2018 with the Sneakster on this track with the glitch, doing the two for three glitch. And I was really hoping for a mushroom from that leaf pile. Hang on, hang on, one second. Anyway, I had to do laps with the Sneakster I had to do laps because uh, I was trying to do the glitch with the Sneakster and it was a one shroom glitch so I would always have to drive one lap with the Sneakster before attempting it. It was torture and I ended up just using the spear in my me when I got the world record but I tried with the Sneakster for like a month or two and ended up not being successful but I got a lot of practice driving Maple Truway with the Sneakster no glitch and it really showed it really showed right there we're at 89 98 we're two points away hopefully this is the last race and we can complete the challenge here we go we're very lucky that it's 100 cc it makes it much easier to drive this track with the sneakster oh i got side sniped off the wall all right all right all right shake it off what even was that what even was that That sucks. I was just about to get an item. <sighs> I'm so screwed. I need the shock. No. Can't do anything with that.
Yes! Thank you, Matt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. No! Okay, I think fourth might be enough. Come on, come on, come on. That was a great golden usage. And Matt, shouts to Matt. Because DMD was goldening with the Flame Runner. He could have easily bumped me off. And Matt took him down. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 9,010 points! The challenge is over! We did it! 4,010 VR gained in like three hours. Oh man. Good games, Nicholas. Good games. I am very happy the challenge was only to 9,000 VR and not 9999. I don't think I could have taken 999 more VR. That last thousand took a while. Mario Kart Wii, it starts to get hard to get VR once you get in the 8,000s. It turns into a whole different game. But look at that. 9,010 points. We take those good games to everybody. And that was a really fun challenge. I will entertain the idea of doing a series on Twitch where I use different vehicles and play for three hours and see how much VR I could gain. I think it would be a lot of fun. And it'd be hard to top that, honestly. 3,000, sorry, 4,000 points in like three hours. That was, that was a... Best case scenario, I had to play out of my mind to pull that off. And my stomach thanks me. Oh my God, I was in last place entering the final lap on GV2 and I managed to get like fourth. Oh, so happy right now, guys, so happy. You have no idea. Okay, thank you for watching and I'm gonna win season eight. I promise. I'm not gonna let you guys down.